Hi everybody, welcome to the channel Lightworkers Together. This is Val. I hope you all are doing well and having a wonderful day. Um, there's a little bit of sunshine out. The sun is kind of starting to go down now and it's getting a little bit cool. So I'm back in the car again, but I did take a really long hike um, with my brother, which was so great. We got to hang out. But anyway, I wanted to come on and I wanted to talk about this energy right now, which is very unusual. We just had the full moon day before yesterday, actually. So we're still dovetailing on that releasing energy, which is really, really great. It's super powerful right now. That's the pink full moon. I think it's in Libra, which is that um, balancing out, right? Releasing things to balance your life out, um, getting rid of things which are not just no longer serving you, but are not in alignment at all with the newer version of yourself. So this full moon energy is dovetailing on to this Easter resurrection energy, which we have going on this weekend. So um, for those that celebrated Easter Sunday, so Good Friday was yesterday. Today's Saturday, Easter Sunday is tomorrow. And that is the, the resurrection energy, is that energy of bringing to life that newer version of yourself. It's letting go of the old version and stepping into the new. So how this kind of piggybacks, this energy and the timing of everything piggybacks right on top of that full moon releasing energy is, is powerful. It's very, very powerful. So for those that have been um, kind of holding on to things or waiting for a chance to let things go to move forward in your life. This is just an amazing time to do it. You can feel the energy. It's so incredible. Um, we also have an eclipse that's going to be coming up shortly. So there's just, and we're in a, <laughs> we're in a, we're in a Mercury, I'm sorry, we're in a Mercury retrograde too right now. So it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of energies and it can be um, difficult to do that really hard pull away from things when you have a Mercury retrograde going on because a lot of times when you have done the healing, right, and you're moving forward, a Mercury retrograde can bring things from the past back into your life. And a lot of times it's really just a test to see are you really done with that, right? Are you done with that? Are you ready to move on to something that is better for you, right? We all, it kind of came to me literally when I was driving that we know when we're done with something, right? We don't always let go of it when we know that we're done with it. We should, but I think that's, for each person, you have to check in with yourself and your intuition is going to tell you when you're done. Um, a lot of times I know with people, sometimes we will hold on to people when we know that it is not healthy. It's not for our highest good. It might even be something where you are fully aware it's a toxic situation, but you hold on to it because you still care and you have hope that the situation is going to change, you know, that person may go through healing or something. But at the end of the day, if you have been in something for any length of time and you have seen no change or things get worse, you have to at some point be honest with yourself and you have to be practicing enough self-care and self-love to be real with yourself and say, is this something that I need to continue putting more time in or is this something that it's for the the high my highest good and the greater good in general to let it go so that you can move on and you can do what you're meant to do because a lot of times we are holding on to things from the past and it, it, it keeps us from moving forward into what we're meant to do because we still have energy that's stuck in it. So eventually we get to that point where you know that it is enough. You know that you've either done everything that you can do in this situation or your whole being tells you, I'm done. 
and you know you're done and then you can just let go all the way so like i said this this full moon energy that is dovetailing into this resurrection energy it just gives you that beautiful feeling of for a lot of people it's going to be a hard reset that's what it feels like to me it's just going to be a hard reset where there's going to be a lot of major and a lot of folks have already done it over the last 48 hours letting go and just cutting things out i mean a hard reset and then like the phoenix from the ashes they're rising back up into their new energy so that they can move forward and they can follow their path and their purpose and do the things that are meant from them and and for many to finally heal from things because when you are still in the energy of something it's difficult to heal it all the way sometimes you can you know i've been in a place where i can do that um, but not always and for many you do need to just step away from it you need to be have it completely out of your energy so that you can feel what that feels like to just be completely clear of that energy and so that you can have you know a beautiful full healing and then you can move forward with with your life and your plans and the things that you want to do so I'm, I'm really hopeful that everybody gets to take advantage of this beautiful, beautiful energy and to let go of those things which are not for your highest good. You know, they're not serving your life. And, and we all know what those things are. You know what I mean? And it's not always relationships or people. It can often be jobs. Sometimes you might be in a job where you are just utterly miserable and you know that's not where you're meant to be. It's not what you're meant to be doing. And sometimes it's very difficult to make such a huge change it may have to do with your financial situation and a lot of different things you know if you're supporting your family and everything there's a lot tied to those things but we can take baby steps right we can we can be in that place of love for ourselves enough to take baby steps to move ourselves out of something that is just you know what's not good for you because you're not happy with it right it makes you miserable we all know I mean if you if you are going into a job or something every day and you hate it you're miserable you when the minute you go in there you're unhappy when you leave you're unhappy or you're happy to, to be getting out of there it might be time to take some baby steps to remove that and sometimes we need to remove or release and let go of things that are habits they are sometimes programming or thought processes that hold us back right that hold us tied to things of the past even you know ways that we were looking at things <laughs> i had a message from my angels yesterday about something specific and about thinking outside the box and usually i'm really good at thinking outside the box like to me there is no box <laughs> So the fact that I got told you need to be thinking outside the box kind of let me know that I'd fallen back into a habit of kind of limiting what I was looking at and what I was focusing on. And it's easy to do, right? In this 3D reality that we live in, it's very easy to get caught back into a cycle that isn't good. You know, if we have habits in our life that are not necessarily healthy habits or they're not good for us or they're not the kind of things that are um, encouraging or uplifting to us, this is a wonderful time to change those, to release it, to just say to yourself, you know, this is something, a habit that I do that I know it's just, it's not a healthy habit. It's not good for me. So this is an awesome time where I'm just going to stop it. I'm not going to do this. And in, in its place with this beautiful rising and resurrection energy, this rebirth energy, which is what it is with this rebirth energy, I'm going to create my new reality right i'm going to create this new version of myself where my habits and my thoughts and everything come together in alignment in a way that is healthy for me in a way that helps move me forward with what i'm meant to do right and, and to be in that place of joy and happiness and excitement right every day about your life and what you're doing because that's what we want like we we are all here for a purpose and I think about this all the time that you know what can I do that will be of service what 
can I do that will help? And, you know, I heard um, one of the channels I watch, which is the um, Full Spectrum Universe, and they do a lot of great, uh, Rob Yox is the one um, I usually hear, and he does a lot of great research and stuff on topics. And he, he always says, each one, teach one, which I love it. So it's like, when you learn something, it's nice to share that knowledge with someone else to, to, kind of not even necessarily teach, but just to share knowledge that you have that could be of service to someone else that could help them. And that's kind of what I plan to be doing more and more on the channel is moving forward with that kind of energy of, you know, whatever I can do to help with the healing, because healing is just a massive part of the awakening. And if we don't do the healing work, then it's very difficult to step into each new part that we're supposed to do because we're still carrying all this stuff in the past that keeps us from being our greatest and best self. Like I'd love to do video and talk about integrating all those different parts of ourselves, which is something that's been a big thing for me recently. So, but that's, that's going to be another topic for another day because I'm watching the timer. I'm up to 11 minutes. My goal is to keep these between 10 and 15 minutes tops so that they're more digestible um, and it's easier to kind of squeeze in to the day. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to wrap it up, but I just want to encourage everybody to take advantage of this beautiful energy. Um, it, it is a Mercury retrograde, so of course, always be aware of that, but that doesn't have to kind of control you stepping forward into something new because this resurrection energy overrides that. But just be aware that especially if you're trying to do a hard reset or release of something with that full moon energy that you could have something from the past and you know how that works. It's like the law of attraction thing. When you finally let go all the way and you're done with something, that's when it usually will try and come back. And sometimes that's just a test for us to see, are you really done? Can you really, can you really just like turn your back and keep walking and be like, that's not for me? Because sometimes that's the universe testing us to see, are you really done? Are you really ready for that next thing? Because a lot of times we won't get that next thing or the universe will send something in, which is kind of similar to the thing that you took out of your life to see, are you going to follow the pattern and say yes to the same thing again? Or are you standing in your power now and knowing what is for your highest good and you're ready to choose it? So sometimes the universe will send something in that's like in a similar energy. And the minute you're like, no, that's not for me. Like 24 hours later, you can have the very thing, which is the thing you actually wanted that you might have been manifesting that's for your highest good that will then come in for you. So the universe will just wants to make sure that's what you really want and that you're ready for it, right? So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to send some beautiful, beautiful rebirth healing energy to everybody. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm sending you love, peace, and unity. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Love and blessings to you all, and for those that are celebrating Easter or Ramadan or anything else, enjoy. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.